What's up, everybody? Hi. So I got an embarrassing story to share today. Do you even get embarrassed? I usually don't, but this story, because we just got together, it's <laughs> six years ago. Very, very embarrassing. Yeah, this is this is when we first moved in with each other, and I would say month two or month three into the relationship. The funny thing is, as soon as we moved in with each other was like a week apart from when we first got together. So everything happened really fast with us. So don't think- But don't think we also that. knew each other for like three or four years before that. Yeah, but we hated and each other. And he was never friend zone. So for whoever's like, ooh, poor got out of the friend zone. No, he hated me too. Yeah, but I mean, well, we're enemy zoned or whatever. Yeah, yeah, enemy zoned that went into- Deep love. love. So. However, that fucking crazy ass mistake I made that end up with her. <laughs> In the beginning, I did love her at one point. And so at this one point, it was super embarrassing. I know you're probably going, shut the fuck up and tell me the goddamn story. True. So, this is a story. What happened was, this one night, me, Gio, and a couple other friends went to go out to eat. And we were at Little Tokyo. And we are eating at this one spot. I don't even remember what the hell it was. I just remember the dish was pretty bomb. It was like... This curry rice with wrapped in an egg omelet pilaf type mm. of thing. And it's like one of those Japanese fusion things. And I ate that. I came home and I started feeling bubble guts. Bubble guts, yeah. It was like it's like a witch's brew. You know how <laughs> you have like all the bubbles like popping up like, <laughs> and they throw like some crow's feet in there or whatever. And it just wasn't feeling right. And I was laying next to bed with her, and when I was rolled over, I was like, fuck. If I get out of the bed, so like, you know when you're sleeping with someone? If you get out of the bed once or twice, you're like, oh, okay, they're, they're taking a piss. But if the person keeps getting out of the bed like five to like 35 times, you're like, what the fuck is wrong with this person? Especially in the beginning of the relationship, we're trying to get to know them. You're trying to like understand their behavioral patterns. Yeah, what and, you're, gonna say? and you're trying to hide the fact that you take a shit. Exactly. Because like in the beginning, you don't want them to smell your feces. You want it to be all like, pretty and smells all nice yeah. and everything like the good side of you and where we lived at the time the bathroom was right across pretty much side right across from that room we lived in yeah so if i would have blasted ass it everyone's been, gonna hear it it would have been like <laughs> <laughs> it would have been like that so i was like oh. wait, wait i gotta give you props that sounded really really real really yeah how did oh. <laughs> I don't know, I guess I have a lot of experience. Dude, that was nice. And then, so I was really scared, so I was like, fuck, I gotta just keep holding it in. The whole night, I was just sleeping. I was fucking clenching really? my asshole. Yeah, I was like, I was like, like my, all my toes were like going like this, and I was like having all these cold sweats. Fuck. Yeah, and then I think in the morning, wait, did I, did I have the crazy, the craziness happen in the middle of the night? Um, yeah, you were throwing up. Oh, yeah. You were throwing up violently. Okay, so. There was no ass. Juices coming out or nothing, but it was like Bleh! so I couldn't I couldn't uh, I couldn't hold it anymore. I had to get out of bed, and when I got out of bed, I had immediately knew I had food poisoning because I started throwing up like a motherfucker. And my body, I don't know what's wrong with my body. Some people they can throw up very like peacefully, like yeah, it's yeah. just like Bleh. yeah. When I throw up, I mean I don't throw up often, but when I have thrown up, it's always been like Bleh! and then that's it. Like and then a baby, I'm like, like it's yeah. just like, Bleh! Bleh! like that. Yeah. But for mine, it's like. And then no, like, no, it sounds like like that, that like, he's, like his stomach is like trying to reject anything that doesn't belong there. It just fucking forces it out. And it hurts so much because the next day, like my diaphragm muscles are sore. That's how hard I throw up. And that's just how my body just convulses like I'm getting like uh, exercise or something. Like as an exorcism. An exorcism, yeah. Yeah, so I was vomiting like crazy and I was throwing up into the toilet the whole time. I'm like gripping the toilet seat. I'm like, fuck. <laughs> Please don't hear me because this sounds really? horrible. Yeah, because wow. number one A. Number I, one A. Okay. <laughs> okay. Number one A. I Roman numeral five. Mm -hmm. I already know that I throw up loud as fuck because <laughs> when I heard my other friends throw up, I'm like, fuck. That sounded kind of cute. How come people can throw up all cute and shit? And why is my throw up all fucked up? So I was a little bit self-conscious of my throw up. And it's really? Like, yeah. And then I'm since, so surprised. And then since like you never heard me, I was like, fuck, she probably thinks I'm a gross motherfucker. Really? Yeah. Anyway. This is so foreign to me because you guys don't understand the confidence this schmuck over here has. Like, <laughs> he's not embarrassed. Like, things that you should be embarrassed about. Like, he's walked around 
like shoots. Like we're filming all the time, and there's there's certain scenes that require him to run around in his boxers and stuff. He doesn't give a fuck so much that he doesn't even check his boxers, and he'll literally have holes like <laughs> on his crotch, and he's like opening up his legs, or like literally like on his butthole, and he doesn't even care. Like he has no. That's shame. because I don't love you no more. <laughs> oh! But when I my did bad. love you and I was trying to impress you, I don't want you to think that I'm fucking this guy that has a demon inside him. Well, but anyways. You do. Okay, maybe I do. Well, anyways, I was fucking vomiting like a motherfucker and I was like, uh, uh, and then finally I was like, oh shit, like, oh, I think I'm done. And immediately I was like, fuck! Ah! So I have to turn around and then put my asshole on the toilet because now it's. It's the exit number two now. It's the fire exit, and it was like blasting ass. Like, <laughs> you guys ever get a wet paper towel and then like wet it and then throw it on the ceiling of your bathroom when you're a kid? No, not my own bathroom, but the school bathroom, yeah. That's how it sounded like against the toilet seat. It was like <laughs> 200 kindergartners wetting paper towels going. Brah! It was like. <laughs> It was like, you know when, uh, Oh my god! You know when, imagine an I artist, didn't hear that. Imagine an artist getting a big paintbrush and putting it in brown paint and then going, whoosh! <laughs> it was like that. What? Bam! All the way across. And I was just like, fuck! And my toes were like, digging into the tile and I was like, oh! Uh, uh, <laughs> oh my uh, god! And the whole time... I don't need like, to know all of this! Well, the whole time I was like, fuck! I hope Gio can't hear me. God damn it. And then, before I could even finish the thought, I'm like, so really? Like, yeah, it's coming out. It was coming out of wait, both wait, holes. Wait, wait, wait. I wasn't. That's when I was home still. Yeah, it was coming out of both holes. What did you do with the with your mouth hole? Like, where was that? I opened in my legs. So was it getting on your thighs? No, I was trying to like be as flexible as like as I could. But the hole. So when you're sitting down, there's only like a a quarter, if not less, of the of the hole showing between your legs. I've, I've tried to spit, this is really weird, but I've tried to spit, like if something weird's in my mouth and I try to spit and I try to spit it in the toilet. Yeah. Like I have to aim and it's like a little thing of spit and I sometimes mm. miss. I don't wow, know. Wow, you're very talented. I'll go home and I'll check my pajamas see if there's any more brown spots on it, but it's possible that it was all over, I just didn't notice. And then anyways, that, that whole like seizure thing ended and I was like, all right, fuck, you know, like if she heard me or not, she's gonna accept me for who I am. Hell no, I would've broke up with your ass if I heard that. Well, good thing I didn't fucking tell you. And then so, well, maybe I should've told you. Well, anyways, I was like, fuck, that whole thing happened. Went back into bed, I felt really bad. And then she was really sweet and then she bought me like saltine crackers and gave it in the morning. And then when she went to work though. <laughs> when I, she went to work though. That's when episode two happened. So episode two happened the same exact thing, throwing up, but it was like, it was like throwing up in the toilet and then turning around, boom, 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 and then boom, 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 boom. It was like crazy nonstop. This fucking crazy, this fucking curry rice pilaf like really is like turning me inside out. And then finally, I thought after I thought I was done and I had like multiple episodes of ass blasting and freaking mouth blasting mouth <laughs> blasting I was like fuck I think I emptied out anything that has ever been stored in my colon friend for the past 20 something years of my life I'm like alright I think I, I think it's over uh, were you alone in the house at this point? Because we, we we lived in a house with like three other girls. I know at this time I don't roommates. at this time I well I think everyone worked like a nine to five. So I think everyone was left the only person that could have stayed was probably uh, your roommate that uh, was a chef, that was going to chef school. Okay. She, had, she was the only one with irregular hours. Yeah. But her room was like somewhere else, so I didn't right. really care about that that much. And then, so, I thought I was done, I was like, alright, cool, you know what, I get to finally clean all my orifices, and I jumped in the shower, and I kid you not, I wouldn't be surprised if I had like shit particles at the bottom of my balls. Ew! Just because it was like coming out so much, it was probably like, it was just probably like, you know when on a, on a, uh, on a winter, on a winter day, like when the, the snow on the roof melts and it starts coming and it starts dripping down? Yeah. But then it gets to the corner and it starts forming that icicle? Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if I had shit icicles on my balls. Ew! What are you down. talking about? It just dripped down from the asshole onto the balls and then Oh it my god! Shit, I just go home. I wouldn't what be the surprised. What is wrong with you? I wouldn't be surprised if I had that. So I have the nastiest <laughs> fucking visual right now. And you know what I picture in my head? What? You know when you cook pinto beans yeah. and then the water no longer is clear. Well, like I don't know how when you, when you yes when you cook pinto beans. <laughs> Whatever. 
So yeah, so the water, no, or like when you go to Chipotle and they're serving you the, the black beans or pinto beans, yeah, the water yeah, yeah. isn't clear. No. It's like that color of yeah, the yeah, bean. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that's what I picture fucking going from your fucking asshole down your chode into your fucking balls. Thanks yeah, for that. That's exactly what happened. <laughs>